on the horn. What's up? Hey, Ghost. Finally, I have a chance to actually tell you my opinion. You're hearing me, right. right? Go for it. Yeah, we can hear well, you. Go ahead, man. You're hearing a lot of these people. I honestly started watching you because of the trolling, but I'm getting tired of you insulting everybody. I'm 18 years old, and I have a legitimate opinion about all these things. I'm probably the worst kind of person in your opinion. I am a all gay, right, well, let's hear your brony, opinion. Let's hear your opinion. and I'm a furry. But I actually care about politics. I don't even know where to start with you. I could care less about light bulbs. That Honestly, that's the least of America's worries right now, all right? Now, okay, about Obama, you're talking a lot of crap about that guy, but he hasn't been in office very long, and it takes a... You know, shut up, you stupid, mumbling, stumbling, brony little jerk, all right? I mean, you're a brony and a furry. You can't even concoct a sentence. I mean, say your goddamn point, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. I mean, did you hear this? I I am 18 years old, okay? And I'm... Just say your freaking point, all right? I mean, I gave you a good 10 to 20 seconds to sit there and get you to get your point across, but no! You tried to mumble a bunch of sentence fragments together in an attempt to think that you know what you're talking about, son. You do not. You sound like all the other dumb jerk dicks that called prior trying to, you know, get some kind of a rise out of me or something, but failed to do so. You want to know why? Because I'm making, I'm making you look lower than Minnie-Me's nutsack, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ, I'm making you look lower than Madonna's clitoris that hangs down below her knees. Do you understand what I'm saying, boy? Jesus Christ, who else we got going on over here? Uh, area code 912, you're on the horn. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Um, I fell asleep in the shop, so I have no idea what we're talking about. Ah, uh, well, you know, maybe you need to take a five-hour energy, son. It's the summer! It's the summer! What are you going to sleep for, for Christ's sake? Do you work? Do you work, for Christ's sake? I think not. Get this idiot off. Uh, let's see who else we got going. Let's get another Skype person. Let's get somebody else out here that's from Skype. El Foxo, you there? Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a Now, oh, Jesus Christ. Pirate songs, yeah, that's what we need out here. Anyway, we're two minutes in to the second hour of the True Capitalist radio broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. Before we get into anything, I'd like for everybody to please go to the social networks, go to the blogs, go to the forum posts, retweet the broadcast, and spread it around like wildfire. Spread it around like wildfire. There's all kinds of little buttons underneath the player, folks. All right? You see those little buttons under there? You got a little Facebook like button. You got a little tweet this button. You got this. You got that. Use and abuse those buttons. It's just a freaking click, for Christ's sake. It's just a freaking click. I'm sorry, man. I'm just getting a little hyper, man. I just can't believe all these fruit bowls. I mean, good God. I mean, it's smelling up this broadcast like butt crack. I mean, you know, there's so many fruity bastards listening in, it smells like the inside of an ass in here. Jesus Christ, let's take some more calls, for Christ's sake. Who else do we got, engineer? It's 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 816, you're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. How's it going? Uh, Not bad, but I just wanted to ask you one thing. Go for it. I'm sexually attracted to a pony. And since you're a cowboy, I was wondering what you had to say about that. Uh, you're sexually attracted to a pony? What makes you sexually attracted to it? What, it's well hung or something? It has a, no, actually, it's a female pony, and it has a very... It's just attractive. You'd have to see it. it it's attractive? So, uh, what are you thinking? Uh, you think you're going steady or something? I don't get it. What do, you, what, do you, what do you want to do with this pony? Well, you see, I want to get it in my bed, and then... Yeah, you see, you already ruined it just by you sounding like some fruiter. Did you hear him? He sounded like some stupid bitch fruiter. Did you see that? Um, I want to have it in my bed. <laughs> stupid idiot. Get this. Get him off. Get this brony idiot off. That's enough with these bronies, all right? It's enough with these bronies already. They're sick, man. There's something wrong with you people. There's something wrong in your head, for Christ's sake. You 
cannot look at yourself in between your beady eyes and actually be proud of yourself that you're some kind of a fruit bowl brony. You know, you can't be proud of yourself. This is a defense mechanism for uh, to prevent you from looking uh, at life in reality. You know, you, you don't want to look at reality that, yeah, I'm still living with Mammy. Nobody want, wants to whack my wiener. I look like a disgusting, pathetic waste of human flesh. And the only... The only way I can get any kind of social interaction is to participate in some ridiculous little subculture of Woody Allen butt-loving pedophiles called bronies. Huh? Oh, that's great, huh? Jesus Christ. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. You should choke yourself to death, all you bronies. 209, you're on the horn. Or 509, my bad. 509, you're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm uh, not bad. I mean, just getting bombarded by bronies up in here. What's going on with you? Well, I got uh, a few comments to make. One of them is about uh, Texas. Uh, you, one of the, when you defended it, you're saying all these things, but you're forgetting to mention that Texas has created over half the jobs in the USA just over the last couple of years. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I've said that many times pr- prior to this broadcast. I mean, you know, pretty uh, much I've told everybody that, hey, uh, if you want a job out here in America, you come down here to Texas, and let me tell you, I, I count countless uh, amounts of driver's plates, uh, you know, uh, car plates of different people from all over the country. So, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. We are generating economy uh, while everybody's real estate prices have gone down. Uh, the Texas has gone up, baby. I mean, I sold my house in Leander. Jeez, uh, Christ, that was about last summer. You know, at the end of August. And, uh, you know, moved here uh, to downtown Austin off of West 6th Street in a badass high-rise condominium overlooking the city. Beautiful. And since I've gotten this high-rise condominium, the goddamn cost or, or the uh, the price of the condominium has gone up. So I could sell off now and generate a profit or, uh, you know, rent this out potentially to some, uh, you know, hot shot or something and move, move on to another property, for Christ's sake. I'm not joking. So, yeah, I mean, I love Texas. God bless Texas. As a matter of fact, let me have a drink to Texas. Everybody out there, a drink to the greatest state in the union, the greatest state in the world, Texas, baby. I love Texas. God damn, I love Texas. Let me get a drink here. Uh, some good stuff. 509, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, the other thing is uh, this whole light bulb thing. The, the, the Democrats don't give a crap about the environment. They're just all the bureaucracies and uh, whatnot. The, so I'm forgetting the word for it, but the uh, just the group. Yeah, they, they, they got lobbied. They got uh, people to put the money in their campaign contribution accounts. You know, and it was these LED people, these fluorescent people, these energy people, these all green people. I mean, why do you think that we have all these uh, initiatives into so-called green technology thanks to the American taxpaying dollar? Huh? That's just the way it is, man. It makes me sick. And, you know, here you've got families. Just imagine, you know, these families out here got to support children. they got to go out and buy a goddamn 8 $9 fluorescent bulb because the federal government says, we ain't going to let you, baby. We ain't going to let you get no incandescent light bulb for 40 cents a Oh, baby, because we want you to buy fluorescent. We want you to buy fluorescent and LED, baby, and that's all there is to it, baby. You understand? That's all there is to it. You want to know why, baby? You want to know why? I bet you know why, because it's Junkyard America, baby. That's what this is. Oh, yeah, Junkyard America. Oh, yeah. Come on now, baby. We're turning everybody. Everybody in the bread. Bread seat.
Anyway, I want to hear from you. Six four six six five two four eight six nine. Uh, we were talking about how Texas is saying no to the federal government to regulating our light bulbs. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Uh, area code uh, six uh, seven six three. You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. How you doing? This is Ion Bash. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, what I gotta basically say about the LED light bulbs, at least, is that they are worth buying. Even though they cost more, they do last 50 times longer on average. Well, no, I'm not arguing with the technology as far as it lasting longer than an incandescent light bulb or any other bulb for that matter. What I'm arguing is that, you know, there, there are families out here that are penny pinching. They're getting hit up at the pump because of the high energy costs that we saw that are barely coming down since last March. We saw a spike in commodities which hit people in the pocketbook at the grocery store. I mean, so all I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, uh, the, the, the thing we need less, you know, the, the, the thing that we need less is another tax on the American people. And that's what this light bulb mandate is. You know, because it's a mandate. By making incandescence illegal, you are forcing a mandate upon the American people that they should buy fluorescent LED. And these things are pricey. They're costly. And, and there's no way that they're going to continue to come out the pocket for this nonsense. You understand? And I think that you're hitting the consumer right in the pocketbook, and I think it's sad. I think it's sad. I think that the damn, uh, you know, the, the bureaucrats that are in Washington today that are sitting here trying to implement this nonsense is ridiculous. I mean, how can they sit here and claim that they're being for the people and by the people when they're forcing these people to buy the damn incandescent light bulbs? I mean, I agree with you, but geez. You know, I mean, you know, like, uh, like I said, like, like a black man would tell you after you told him you ain't got no change to give him, come on, man, come on, man. I mean, that's all I'm saying, you know? Yeah, um, but the main thing is is that uh, LEDs actually save you about 90% compared to incandescent just in general because they last longer, they use 90 Yeah, I'm not arguing with you there, uh, and I'm not arguing with you there. What I'm saying is, though, American people don't allocate that much capital in their personal finance to just purchase light bulbs, all right? They're used to just saying, here, let me get these ones for 40 cents a piece, and, you know, let me buy a whole bunch of them, and let me go ahead and, uh, you know, save them. And just in case one goes out, I have one in the under the cupboard, and I'm going to put it in. You can't buy them like that as a LED replacement. I mean, you know, you're going to be blowing $100 on light bulbs if you buy enough replacements for the light bulbs you need for your uh, appliance, for your lighting. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not debating whether it lasts longer, whether it saves energy. Who gives a crap? I'm talking about costs. I'm talking about the money coming out of people's pockets. That's what I'm talking about. All right? I want to hear from you. 646-652-4869. Enough of talking about light bulbs. For crazy. We're talking about light bulbs. Enough of this crap. I want to talk about something else here. I want to talk about an Oklahoma pharmacist. I don't know if you folks are familiar with this. Uh, but we have a uh, pharmacist out, the, out of Oklahoma who is being robbed by the bowels of society. And in the midst of that robbery, the pharmacist owner pulled out his gat and dispensed, uh, you know, citizen justice upon the robbers robbing his uh, business establishment. He shoots one of them in the head. That robber goes down. The other one runs out like a puss, you know, starts running out. So the pharmacist hops over and tries to run after the other one. He can't catch up to him. So he goes and, uh, according to reports, gets another gun, goes back to the robber that's shot in the head uh, in his store, goes over him, and unloads about six rounds up in this piece of crap. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he was robbing his store. I mean, it, it plainly showed that this goddamn robber had a goddamn gun to his head. You know, and, uh, you know, he shot him in the head once, and then, you know, just to make sure this idiot was no longer a waste or, or a detriment on human society, he shot him dead just to put him out of his misery, for Christ's sake. Well, anyway, this pharmacist is being sentenced to prison for life for doing this crap. 